Nestled in the heart of North America, Mexico is the 11th most populous country in the world, home to over 126 million people. With a staggering number of approximately 1.18 million employed truck drivers across the nation, Mexican truckers are no stranger to hard work, long hours, and difficult drives. Welcome to this episode of Trucking World, Mexico. As a North American country, Mexico generally uses what are called traditional cab semi-trucks, commonly seen in other countries on the continent such as the US and Canada. These include brands such as Kenworth, Peterbilt, Volvo, International, Western Star, Mac, and Freightliner, which is the most commonly sold truck brand in the country, mostly to larger companies more so due to their cheap price point as opposed to a genuine love of the brand among Mexican truckers. If we were to look at the most beloved of all truck brands in Mexico, Kenworth and Peterbilt are the most popular among owner-operators, and those with any love for truck design and reliability. These American brands have become popular among Mexican truckers due to the large amount of cultural exchange between these two countries, as close to the border it's not uncommon for Mexican truckers to hop back and forth between the two nations. In fact, many US trucking companies located near Mexico are allowed to employ Mexican citizens to work for them, so long as they're just delivering loads over the border. Mexico, as the 13th largest country on Earth by land area, lays claim to the 9th largest road network in the world, with a total size of 366,095 kilometers in length, an estimated 31% of which is paved. Though the stats beg to differ, the vast majority of roads which Mexican truckers drive on are paved. The rate of unpaved roads is so high due to the large amount of rural dirt and gravel roads in many less populated areas of the country. Obviously, Mexican truckers cannot avoid these unpaved roads entirely, as some deliveries require traversing more desolate areas. But in and around cities and on highways, the roads are, for the most part, in decent condition. Mexico's highway network consists of 10,474 kilometers of multi-lane expressways, the majority of which are controlled and maintained by the Mexican government as a part of the Mexican federal highway system, as well as 9,544 kilometers of four-lane highways. The rest of highways are smaller two-lane roads which exist either as secondary routes between large population centers or as primary routes to less populated areas. The majority of the 10,747 kilometers of expressways are toll roads, and are, comparative to income levels, some of the most expensive in the world, as they both incorporate a general fee for traversing the road and a form of traveler's insurance, which is intended, in theory, to cover accidents that might occur. The most commonly traveled of these expressways link the three largest cities in Mexico, Mexico City, Guadalajara, and Monterrey. The average salary for a Mexican truck driver, as of 2022, is 75,347 pesos, or around 4,400 US dollars, a significantly lower salary than is found just over the northern border. Due to these low wages, the desire for Mexican truckers to attain across-the-border driving jobs is extremely high, and these positions are difficult to obtain for the average worker. Of course, many intra-country truckers make more than 75,000 pesos, depending on their specific job, and as with all countries, the average is thrown off by the bottom tier of the industry. Those who work in the mining sector have the highest average salary out of all truck drivers within the country, making somewhere around 250,000 pesos, or around 14,600 US dollars per year. It wasn't until 2018 that Mexico enacted hours of service regulations for truck drivers, capping them at 14 hours driving per day with a 30 minute break after every five hour period of driving. Truckers are regulated to eight hours of downtime between shifts and are allowed to work up to seven days a week if their job requires. E-log devices are much rarer in Mexico than in some other countries, so many drivers keep track of their hours using paper logs. Recent legislation has dictated that trucks are limited to a maximum total speed of 80 kilometers an hour in the country, mostly on federal highways, and on other roads individual speed limits vary depending on area and road type. As enforcement of these rules is sometimes lacking, whether or not truckers abide by them in the absence of law enforcement is an individual choice, as an 80 kilometer limit is considerably lower than in most of North America. Trucks in Mexico are limited to a maximum total weight of 166,449 pounds, though this is almost only achievable through the use of multiple trailers, as steer axle weight is limited to 14,320 pounds, single axle trailers are limited to 22,030 pounds, tandem axle trailers are capped at 39,640 pounds, and tritum axle trailers are allowed to support up to 49,570 pounds. Like the US and Canada, there is no overall length limit for semis, allowing drivers to sport exceptionally long tractors if they so choose. Though their salary may be lacking, Mexican truckers work incredibly hard to deliver goods across the nation and beyond. Traveling from bustling metropolises with multi-lane expressways, to dense urban centers featuring tightly packed roads, to the desolate highways of the country's most remote corners, sacrificing both their time and effort simply to deliver people essential goods. These truckers deserve an incredible amount of respect for their efforts, so to any and all watching, I'd like to thank you for the work you do. 
Thanks for watching. Let me know what country you'd like to see covered next in the comments below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and check out some other videos featured on my channel, notably the ones on screen right now. Thanks again and goodbye.